Hey everybody, my name is Mike Montgomery and in today's video, I'd like to show you how I built this DIY modern platform bed with built-in storage on Modern Builds. I'm gonna be building this entire project out of three quarter inch radiata pine plywood. And I started cutting my pieces to size with a circular saw and straight edge. I'm gonna need four pieces just like this that are 42 by 64 inches. And pro tip, it's really convenient to cut plywood on some scrap two by fours. After that, I broke down another sheet of plywood into five seven inch wide strips. Four of these are gonna be cut to 64 inches long and we'll use the other piece to make the internal dividers for our boxes. Before assembling those boxes, I used an eighth inch drill bit to pre-drill holes for all of my screws where I'll be attaching my plywood. Now these boxes are big. It just takes two of them to make a queen size bed. So I used these right angle corner clamps to help hold my pieces flat and square to each other. It's like extra pair of hands holding things tight while I'm on the opposite end of the box screwing pieces together. I made sure to use a decent amount of wood glue on all of my joints, that way they were super strong. And I drove my inch and a quarter long screws beneath the surface of the plywood. And we're gonna be coming back later with some wood putty to fill in those voids. And there you have it. After you've built one of these boxes, just follow the same steps to make a second. You can see in this shot, the plywood that I was working with had quite a bit of warping to it. So I used clamps and whatever I could do to force it into place. That warp did translate to these initial boxes, but the more I assembled and the more I connected this bed together, the more rigid and square it became. I was really committed to only using plywood for this project. So instead of using two by threes, I made my own out of this three quarter inch plywood by cutting it into three and a half inch wide strips and gluing it two layers thick so that it's the same nominal dimensions as a standard two by four, an inch and a half by three and a half inches. Be sure to reference the plans linked down in the description if you're interested in building this project for yourself. It'll have a cut list and all the important dimensions for queen, king, twin, and full-size beds. After using the circular saw and speed square to cut all of my pieces to length, I used those same corner clamps from earlier to lay out and lock in my base. I threw in a dab of glue on all of my joints and two three-inch wood screws. And just like before, I sank these beneath the surface of the wood so that I could come back with some wood filler to fill them in later. I built my base so that the platform overhangs by three and a half inches on every edge. And I've really got to say that doing double layered plywood for my base really helped square up these boxes for the platform. It took out quite a bit of warp and screwing the two boxes together helped lock them in even more. And in this shot, you see me installing the internal divider in each of the boxes that make the platform. You could run this right down the center, but I did mine on the thirds mark to accommodate the organizers that I'm gonna be using as drawers. After that, I just had to flip this heavy bed over. And now we can build the headboard. Today's video is made possible by Extra Space Storage. So big thank you to them. They also happen to sponsor the entire DIY bedroom renovation that this bed is going in on my channel, Modern Builds. I'll be sure to leave a link to that down in the description along with a link to Extra Space Storage's blog where they've got tons of DIY storage solutions. Extra Space Storage is the second largest owner operator of self storage facilities in the US. In fact, they are the largest self storage management company in America. Extra Space Storage has over 1,900 safe, secure self storage properties across the country for a total of approximately 1.4 million units and 149 million square feet of rentable storage space. Wow. And that includes boat, RV, and business storage. So whether you're moving out or moving in or just need a little 
extra space, make sure and check out extra space storage. Links to everything are down in the description. Now back to the build. I'll be using my sixth and final sheet of plywood to build the headboard. I started by breaking it down into a 21 inch wide panel and then cutting about a foot off of each end so I had a six foot by 21 inch headboard blank. I glued and screwed these pieces down and then I used some scrap plywood to fill in the blanks for the rest of the back of this headboard. This middle piece of plywood extends 15 and a half inches beneath the headboard. That accounts for the eight and a half inch box and a seven inch gap between the bottom of the headboard and the base. The last thing I needed to do was add this seven inch strip that was the same width as that metal piece on the front of the headboard and this is gonna ensure a positive stop for that seven inch headboard gap. Now you could absolutely call it a day here. This would be a really awesome rectangular headboard, but I wanna go the extra mile and carve a half circle on each side of the headboard. I started by using a compass with a 10 and a half inch radius, half of my headboard width, to lay out the lines on each end to create this pill shape. I used my circular saw to remove the majority of the wood really close to the line, about a sixteenth of an inch. Then I came back with the jigsaw and I cut right to the line without all of that extra material causing my blade to deflect. Now neither of my cuts were perfect, and if you want a perfect cut, you can create a router jig for this effect. But instead of doing that, I kept it DIY, and I loaded up some 80 grit sandpaper onto my random orbit sander, and I used that to smooth out both of my radiuses. This shape has a million names. It's a stadium in geometry, a sausage body in design, and other people call it a pill shape. Whatever you call it, I think it looks cool, and it couldn't have been easier to install with all of the positive stops that I created. Now that everything was assembled, I could throw wood putty in voids and on top of all of my recessed screw heads. Then I sanded the entire bed with 80 and 150 grit sandpaper and applied two coats of water-based satin polyurethane. And for a project like this, a high density foam roller works great. Oh, and as you can tell, the veneer on this headboard is not that great. So I went ahead and painted it with this slate pastel blue that matches the light fixture in my bedroom. Instead of building and installing custom drawer boxes, I found an awesome ready-made solution in these Heather Gray underbed storage organizers. I'll be sure to leave a link to these down in the description, and this bed fits six of them inside of the base. Apparently, each of these collapsible containers can hold 40 t-shirts for a grand total of 240 blank white t-shirts that can be stowed under this bed or anything else you can think of. But with that, this bed is done. First off, I just wanna say I am super pumped with how this project came out. Anytime I can build something that looks great and functions well, it's really rewarding. This was a fun and unique design challenge, building this bed completely out of plywood, and I'm very, very happy with the results. I got a really unique headboard with a pop of color and a super sturdy floating platform with a lot of storage. Of course, custom drawers would be awesome, but these fabric organizers are a great DIY beginner solution in my book. They're affordable, save a ton of work and time if you're using simple tools, and I think that gray fabric looks awesome. It really lends itself to that mid-century modern look. If you ask me, I'd say this project is certified super pro. So thanks a ton for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this project. I also wanna give a big thank you to Extra Space Storage for making this video possible. And if you're interested in seeing this entire DIY bedroom renovation, also sponsored by Extra Space Storage, you can find the link to that down in the description. And down there in the description, you will also find links to free plans for this project. If you wanna build it in twin, full, queen, or king size. You can find more DIY furniture projects like these on my YouTube channel, Modern Builds. And if you wanna keep up with me in between videos, you can always find me on Instagram at Modern Builds. Have a great day, everybody. And if this was your first time seeing one of my videos, welcome, and we'll see you next time on Modern Builds.